This is Jens from Driving South Africa. I'm doing a bit of an exploration of Hartenbosch outside Muscle Bay. Now, Hartenbosch is uh, one of the older beach towns in the area. It was started in the early 1930s when the South African railways um, established a resort for their lower income employees, well re the lower income white employees at the time. Um, and in the mid 1930s the Arte Café the Afrikaans taal en kultuur vereniging bought the farm that the resort was on and they then uh, subdivided it into plots and leased the plots people could build non-permanent housing on it not uh, so a lot of you know, asbestos housing and prefab housing was built at the time. And it became a very popular resort for the middle to lower income groups. Again, at the time and in the apartheid era, it was the whites. But not only the railway workers, it eventually became popular amongst all, all the um, lower income people of the time. A lot of development has taken place over the years and I think it was 1994 somewhere where people were then allowed to buy their stands. This is Artenbosch Beach Front. So let's go and have a look what the beach front looks like. Obviously a mall as to start with. So I'm going to park somewhere here. Yeah? walk down. I'm just walking down to see what's at the bottom here. This is a, a mall. Across the bay there is Mossel Bay. Depends. I see there is a road walkway down. A lock fence. I suppose that based on lock fences around the world. That's the beachfront. There's always been a popular beach you know, since we were kids. On the other side there. That's Fuerbay, which is an industrial area with the crude oil tanks. And then to the left of it, you get Dyer Strand or Dyer's Beach, Pansy Beach. And that one go. Uh, 
to the back there or to the other side you have the river mouth and with some canoes and stuff on the rivers on the river as I say since since those early days and the limitations they had since the 90s there's been a lot of development in the area uh, shopping malls and a lot of housing development The Arctic of Fear still runs the resort here yeah? but uh, there are a lot of other accommodation as well I'll drive, drive around a bit just now and look to add to this this is one of the part of the seafront mall Going out of the parking area on a, towards the left or parallel to the beach. I'm not sure where it's going to lead me. Maybe to the, the river. style prefab houses and buildings around I have an idea some of this is in the area now is, is part of the Artie Cafe resorts the rondavals that you can rent sleeps to Oh, here's the Arctic Cafe. This is all part of the Arctic Cafe uh, stuff. And I saw on their website you can, out of season, in winter, some of these places like sleep to you rent for just for under 300 rand a night. Obviously in season, especially December holidays, it's all massively expensive. Now oh, here we're coming to the river mouth. I parked at the river mouth parking area. It's been winter, a lot of many people use the beach. There's a caravan park over there. Some of the Arctic. Arctic Afia Rondavals and buildings and if we can to 
uh, walk down here, yeah, but looking back up the river. A lot of d development in the last 30 years, especially. Across the way there, you have Grootbrak River. Walkway down next to the beach in the caravan park. Well, this is the main Atombos beach area. Inside you have, to the inside of, of the town, you have shopping centers and houses and so on. As I say, very popular holiday resort. Very busy in December, so the December holidays. But out, outside season, you can get fairly reasonable accommodation here. Yeah. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Why did this go all blurry? Anyway, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I've got a link in the description for accommodation in the area. If you're looking to book accommodation here on Muscle Bay. And uh, please watch the other videos that I'm posting and have posted. Have a nice day.